Uh, stand up. Okay. I got some help today. First things first. Nature. We're, without nature, we're part of nature. We're nothing, and and we have to honor the earth and and remember that in everything we do. And we're we're kind of losing in that battle, Exti species extinction. Uh, the great biologist E. O. Wilson, he's an old man now, but doing so much for the earth, he calls it hippo, hippo, <laughs> hippopotamus. H, habitat loss. Driving in from my country uh, home, I see so much habitat loss, development sprawl, uh, no place for the animal, our, our animal and plant brothers and sisters to go. The trees, the rabbits, all that. Um, I, invasive species, uh, really bad. Uh, P, population, as in overpopulation. We're seven billion now. It's too much for the earth, I think. Uh, P, pollution, uh, related to the overpopulation. And O, over harvesting, taking too much from Mother Earth, the oceans, cutting too many trees, uh, all that. They're all connected. Uh, the next thing after nature is our native people, the indigenous people. And I don't, I don't mean to embarrass anybody, but I would like to recognize if there are native people here to even come up. I, uh, I, we honor them, and I don't know any good sayings. I know how to say Nyahweh, thank you, in Seneca, the great Seneca people that, who were here first. So, the, so nature was here first, and then the native people. Thank you, thank you. And I, I, I defer to you, and I want you to speak, uh, if, if we can. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, thank you. Uh, some of the signs that I collected from Occupy, I'm going to read a few of those, they're so eloquent. Well, first I quote Mark Twain. In the beginning of a change, the patriot is a scarce person, and brave, and hated, and scorned. When his and her cause succeeds, the timid join them, for then it costs nothing to be a patriot. Wow. Well, you are all in that beginning, and uh, we've been beginning for many years. All the great, great teachers and leaders before us, like the many people have spoken before me. And yes, I want to affirm everything that was said before me. I didn't listen to every single word schmoozing with my buddies, but m many names were there and recognized, and, and, I, and I think it was right on what they all said. A couple more here. The sign was right over here before they brutally uh, just, uh, broke up this uh, wonderful occupation in Buffalo. Just absurd. Just, it was just, it was so wrong the way it was done. It's okay to kick us out. It is okay, because they got the law. Huh. The law, I mean, you know, I, I respect that to a degree. But the way they did it. It ain't right. It wasn't right. Absolute Constitution Bill of Rights. I was here the night I thought they were going to break it up. And I would have stood with them to stop it. Nonviolently, I would have been busted for that one night. Big deal. So many brothers and sisters all over the world are in jail. In this country, we got most of them, most of them are here, but all over the world in brutal jails and so on. So we, that story is to be told. Ale is going to tell it. Ale's my man. Because I want to recognize some people today. The FBI, CAA, what are these, all this crap about the government and, and spying on us. That's another reason we're here for the young, for the next generation. There you go. Hey, that's good. Stay here, young lady. Because this is what it's about. It's about the nature and the trees, and birds, and the bees, and the, and the little ones, and the old and everyone. Um, this woman wrote, I, I think it was a woman, but because women make the best signs, sorry. <laughs> women make the best signs, like this one here. She packs it in. Whoa, let me tell you, it's all there. Bless you, Jackie, bless you. And, and let me say I, 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 um, about names. I'm going to name the first names. I'm going to recognize people, and, and I don't mean to embarrass, I mean to honor these names. But anyhow, she wrote, I think, the occupier wrote, I work, vote, Think and care. Imagine that. Blew my mind. 
I've been th I've been working and voting and thinking and caring for 66 years. Well, 55 of those maybe. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. Both. How about this one? Why is it easier to believe that 150 million Americans are being lazy rather than 400 Americans are being greedy? Right. That gives me chills. That gives me chills because that's speaking the truth. From Occupy Charlotte, where my, my much-loved daughter is living now and, and trying to make a better world their own way. We are peaceful but we will not be silenced. And that's, that's you folks. And now, now I'm gonna recognize some people. Obviously, Jackie, and, well, people I know. I just met Jackie two minutes ago. She agreed to this, and I recommend it. The people united can never be defeated. Un pueblo unido. Jamais será vencido. Jamais será vencido. Un pueblo. I that's, a, that's another group I didn't recognize. Unido, jamás será vencido. El pueblo unido, jamás será vencido. El pueblo unido, jamás será vencido. Gracias, muchas gracias. I see. I'm, I'm going to miss some of you, and I apologize. But here's the names I'm going to. I'm going to use the ones that are so obvious. Bill. Bill, standing here, who has been a part of this community for 40 years at least that I know, and, and making, making it better, and making the world better. Thank you, Bill. Tom, I, resi I want to say the whole names because I, I honor these names, but I'm going to just say Tom, let them figure it out, those spies. Tom, a life dedicated to building a better, greener, more loving world. This applies to everyone I see. Now, again, I apologize if I missed some of you. A new man from the Peace Center, a veteran. Are you the vet with the veterans, sir? Right there. I forget. But I've seen you at all the meetings, and I know. But let me stay with the people I know. Valerie. Valerie. Yeah. Valerie is awesome. Woo! Whoa. I saw... It is a good scene that I don't see because usually I see all friends, all people I know. So that means the movement has grown and got bigger because the names I just used, those few, have been doing this for 40, 50 years. Say, say if you're if you're under 40 here, raise your hand. If you're under 40, whoa, that's great. We need lots more of those. But anyway, I'm, I, raise your hand if you know me. <laughs> Jeff, a new friend. This man, he's already against the next war. Can you check that out? He's already against the next war. Unbelievable. What you someone mean? else. Dan. Dan. Okay, I know Marty Sama. Marty, been in the struggle for a long time. And I saw this man from the Peace Center, used to be the president, where he had to go. But the big guy who got his going before, uh, Jim. He's... You gotta recognize that man. Oh, yeah. huh? Am I allowed to say dude? That word isn't, uh, somebody doesn't like that word dude anymore. I don't know. That, that's definitely not, it's still in. If, if it's a good word, he's a dude. I'm telling you. All right. Now, uh, I, I, I would like to say, native, I, I could go on and on, believe me. I love it. I love you. I love this movement. Uh, oh, he's trying to get away. <laughs> the man with the big peace flag. Right there. Don't turn around. You know your name. And, and I'm blocking his name because I haven't seen him. Sam, Sam, long time. Now, this is just tremendous. Who have I missed? Come on, raise your hand. We got a brother. We got a brother in the back. I don't know him. He's, he's always my, uh, St. Francis is the man. Whoa, St. Francis. He knew about loving nature and loving one another. Okay, I'm going to turn this mic over to some native person now. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping the list a little. Is that okay? Where's the man? Hey, one more man to honor, the guy who asked me if I wanted to speak. Now, let me tell where is he? Bob goes around asking people, because this is about open mic. You know, there was a time when they, we didn't do open mics because people were a little afraid. There's a guy here I forgot to mention, Chris. He used to come to the open mic. Where is Chris? He used to come to the open mic and make people uncomfortable. I said, let's be uncomfortable. He's speaking his truth. Where is Chris? And, and Chris is the main, my main man right now. Be, because I, tr I trusted and loved him and loved the great spirit and loved...